So let me formally welcome each and every single one of you again to my Thermomix show, the fifth episode that we have for this year, and we entitled it Homemade with Love because you're going to see Catherine and myself cooking from our home with lots of love for each and every single one of you. And this is a special one as we are cooking, uh, we are asking you to cook along with us. So you are also making something directly from your home, hopefully with lots of love. So we do have quite the show for you. And just now, I showed a couple of videos. The first one is the Christmas recipes with Thermomix. This is a free ebook that you can download. So I hope you are able to download. If you haven't already, do ask your advisor for the link. They all have it. And later on, I'll put it back up on the chat so you can have a link to it. And the second video that we showed just now was something about Cookie Do 3.0, something that Catherine will feature today. Right, so it is a step by step of how you can download up so you can upload your own recipes on Cookie Do 3.0. Okay, so welcome again, everybody. So, my Thermomix fifth episode for today, we are still going to be featuring usage and care tips about your splash guide. What is splash guide? We'll take a look when I do the caramel sauce, and uh, you're gonna learn about Cookie Do 3.0. We're gonna do a little bit of information about the sugar staging bit. A closed mode in Thermomix TM6 and these are all of these we're going to be highlighting through our cooking demos. I'm going to be making caramel sauce and we're going to cook along Kate Bastet, Malaysia's favorite with Catherine and of course there's going to be some lucky draws but this time we're going to have three rounds. So if you know all these well we only had two rounds but this particular um, month we're going to have three rounds of lucky draws so I hope you like that and advises there is a special surprise for you if you are in this session there's a surprise for you in the lucky draw so stay tuned stay throughout the show so i'm going to run the first poll at the moment so the opening poll if you could help answer uh, if the poll is right in front of you um on Zoom, can you help me answer how long have you been using the thermal mix? If you do not have the poll opened up, you can just type in the chat whether you have a thermal mix or not, less than six months, six to 12, one to four years or more than four years. I would like to know how long. Can you put it in the chat? How long if you had it, if you have it more than four years? For me, I have it for 12 years now. And number two question, have you tried sugar staging recipes before? All right, so do let me know. Okay, even if you do not know what sugar staging is, no worries. That is why you are here today. All right, so I'm going to wait just two more seconds. Okay, lah, not two more seconds, lah, 10 more seconds for all of you to answer. Give you a minute right there. If I check in the chat, hmm, let me check in the chat. Hilang pula dah. All right, nobody answered in the chat. Hi, Yati. Hi, Judy. Well done. All right. So if I were to end the poll right now and I see about 53% of you, about 20 people do have the Thermomix quite recently, less than six months. So I hope this is going to be a good show for you. And wow, about 20% of you have it more than um, one year already. Okay. All right, so many of you haven't done the sugar staging, so I hope this will be a very good show for all of you. So let's get started. A little bit of gentle reminder, do rename yourself. Okay, just use the Zoom function to rename yourself and remain muted. I have not repeat that since the first show. <laughs> remain muted throughout the show. You can ask questions at any point of time, just park it in the chat, and I do hope that you will enjoy the show. All right, so it's a season of giving lah, bulan December ni kan. Uh, not just because it's Christmas, but hey, Malaysians, we just love to give, don't we? Uh, it can be anything. It can be for um, Christmas as December is. It could be for a wedding, housewarming, birthdays. It's, it's so common nowadays for a lot of people to receive um, thermal mix for their birthday presents. But it is also becoming more common for Thermomix to become a gift for the corporate world. Yeah, so um, approached by companies to, to give it as a reward to employee. But if you also notice, you start seeing Thermomix as a contest uh, winning item. 
right? So I saw from my day before you mobile quite a few. If you open up the newspaper, you probably find one. So Thermomix itself is a wonderful idea for a gift. So if you do not have a Thermomix yet, you can gift it even to yourself. That's what I did. It was a gift that I gave to myself. Or if you are thinking, hey, what are the gift for Christmas? You know it lah. It's staring. It's staring at you. It's the Thermomix TM6. So it is, however, a gift that keeps on giving. Why? And that is the feature of the show for today because you can use Thermomix to make gifts. So these are actual collections that you can search in Cookie Do where you just type gift, G-I-F-T, in the search function and you search for the collections and all these wonderful mini cookbooks are available. Okay, so we'll be featuring uh, um, some of them and these are the actual recipes within some of the cookbooks itself. Sorry, some of the collections themselves. I personally have made the chai tea powder. I thought, Allah, it's just, you know, tea. But my husband loves it and I gave it to his mom and she loves it as well. So I think this would be a staple for me to make for any uh, gift giving, especially doll gifts and things like that. Okay, so we want to give you a lot more ideas, but the ideas are going to come from the community. So stay tuned. What is Visa talking about? Community. This is an example featuring one of the sharings that I picked up from Facebook by Fatin. These are actual things that she made um, last year. Okay, last year a gift um, for her friends, not just one friend, but many friends. It could be salted caramel popcorn, some infused oil, peanut butter, Nutella, hot chocolate stick, and so, so many more. So I hope these are good ideas for you, but there are more that is coming. Okay, and da -da -da -da, we are going to get started with cooking. So I'm going to kick off the show with um, caramel sauce. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, go ahead and make myself the next spotlight. All right, so we're going to stay over, go over to my other camera whereby I'm going to be making caramel sauce, okay? So hi, everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. So this is my home and this is my kitchen. Hi, I want everybody to say hello, Faiza. Okay, so we're going to start cooking. Without further ado, um, the thing that I'm going to be making is one of the staple of sugar staging, the easiest beginner recipe. So if you haven't tried sugar staging, caramel sauce would be number one in your list. I love caramels. Dulu dulu, when people ask me, Fiza, what can I get you for gifts? You know, especially orang nak ngura ngura, I said caramel. Caramel it is. Okay? All right. So, sugar staging is special. Okay? It is a closed mode, meaning that if you were to browse in your cookie do, uh, in your Thermomix TM6 automated function, you cannot find sugar staging, nor could you find high temperature mode. These are closed mode, meaning they are only accessible via guided cooking in your cookie do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I already recently cooked it. All right, so I'm going to go to my cookie do and I'm going to pick caramel sauce. If you are cooking along with me, caramel sauce, it is so simple. We're just going to cook and then we're just going to sit and let cat do all the other cooking. So you can cook along with me if you are making caramel sauce. If you're still scrambling for your ingredients, no worries. You got your cookie dough, so you don't need me to guide you. All right, so what do we want to check first is always the ingredients, whether you have all the ingredients. It is very, very recommended, not just recommended, I urgently advise you before you start any sugar staging recipes, you have all your ingredients ready, okay? Okay, except the phone. The phone is not going to go inside the TM6. Lah, all right. You need all your ingredients ready. So I do not have one of the ingredients, which is butter. So I just took out my butter. Oh, putih pula butter. I. There you go, butter. So all we got to do with TM6, guided cooking is click, start cooking. Right. So the first thing that you see here is a long paragraph. All right. So. I'm going to read it out loud. Sugar staging recipes are, in a way, 
designed for your safety. Okay, so the first thing that it says is that to guarantee the success of recipe for your sugar stages recipes in the mode, the ingredients used must be exact. Okay, the exact match and also the description given. If it says uh, light sugar, then you put light sugar, don't put lump sugar. Okay, that's an example. Okay, and then the recipe also uh, should be cooked immediately after placing the sugar with the other ingredients in the mixing bowl because you know sugar hardens. So I will talk about sugar stages at a later time. So we're just going to get started. All right. So you can see if there are any more things that need to be scrolled. But over here, there's nothing. So I'm just going to click next. And the first thing it says is to put 250 grams of sugar, either white sugar or light brown. Ah, yesterday I did with light brown. So today I'm just going to use white sugar. Okay, my lighting is so bright that the white sugar looks invisible. <laughs> okay, so 250 grams. I've already pre-measured it. Remember, it has to be exact. Voila, 250. Yum. Next. Okay, 30 grams of unsalted butter, cold, cut in one piece. So this is one piece of butter. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Where is my camera? Cannot see again. My lighting is so bright. Ah, there you go. All right, there you go. So it's just one piece. Good like that. I good good. I follow instruction. Okay, next is seventy grams of cream. Okay, and it even tells you minimum of thirty percent. Okay, either whipping cream or double cream. So in my case, I use thirty five percent of fat because I go beyond the minimum. And then 30 grams of water. Okay, so cream and water together was 100 grams. I've already pre-mixed it so that we save a little bit of pouring time. So this should be 100 grams. All right, there you go. And last thing is to put one teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay, so we're gonna put one teaspoon of lemon juice. And later on, when I talk about sugar staging, I'll explain a little bit more why. All right, and the next thing is it asked me to put on the splash guard. The first thing you need to do before you put on the splash guard is to put on the lid without the measuring cup on. So just like that. And then when we put our splash guard, I want you to notice that the splash guard has ears. Ta-da! Not Mickey Mouse ears. They're very cute, tiny, tiny ears. And also the, the handle. So the ears needs to go right at the side and the handle is aligned with the the handle of the splash guard is aligned with the handle of the mixing bowl it's like i'm waiting for you guys to answer right why because when i say that i'm done with putting the splash guard on then it's going to ask me to start it's not going to verify or validate that you've put the splash guard on the tm6 is just going to trust you and then it tells tells me to Turn the speed selector to start my sugar staging. So if you notice with my splash guard, when I put it on, I cannot take it off anymore. I can try and try, but please do not, do not, do not try this like that. Right? Okay, try and try and try, but I'm not able to. The safety mechanism of the locking arm has locked the ears of the splash guard. You know, jangan degil. Don't don't try to uh, to take it off. That's why the locking arm closes onto the ears and even if you try to pry it open that you are not able to. So this is a safety mechanism to make sure that whenever we're using high temperature mode like sugar staging and high temp, whatever uh, splashes that is going to occur inside, whether it's from hot sugar or from hot oil, is not going to hit you, hit the thermal mix and everything else around it because it can get very bubbly and gurgly inside. Okay. However, the other thing with the design of the splash guard, if you had noticed around it, it had like little, little holes that will still allow for steam to escape successfully without, without having the, what do you call it? The WAP IA. Uh, help me translate huh, sometime, you guys, uh, from the steam to go back down inside into the mixing bowl and cause more gurgling in, of your, in your food. All right. So now, if you notice, it says 28 minutes on my screen and it doesn't move. Before this, the 
thermomix tells me that the sugar staging is just going to start when the temperature uh, arrives at the required temperature. Lah. So this one is going to roughly take about three minutes. I tested it yesterday. It's going to take about three minutes before the countdown of 28 minutes is going to start. So 28 minutes is the perfect time for us to start our cook along with Catherine. But you know what? Before we start with Catherine, um, I already have a surprise for all of you. Ta -da! We are actually, we, we already talked about the splash guard, so I'm not going to repeat that. Uh, please make sure that you use the splash guard when it is required for you to use. When do you use the splash guard? When the Thermomix asks you to use the splash guard, which is either when you use the high temp or sugar staging recipes. That's it. Other times, they, no, you don't have to use the splash guard. You can use the simmering basket, the Varoma dish as the splash guard, as well as the measuring cup. And these are being used when you are using manual cooking or any other recipes other than high temperature mode. Only use splash guard during high temperature mode. I cannot emphasize that a lot more because we have seen people using the splash guard when you're making sambal. No, no need. Use the simmering basket. That's more than enough. Okay. Okay. Um, just to let you know, hey, there are two Thermomix community in Facebook that if you haven't joined, I urge you to join. It is a group that actively shares about the discovery of Thermomix in this Asian world that we live in, all at your fingertips. So there are two groups, Thermomix Truly Asian and Cooking at Your Fingertips. So do join these two community. I'll put the link right after this. And I want to give kudos to the group in Thermomix Truly Asian for suggesting a lot of amazing gift ideas that we can just follow. So check it out from Hui Chu. She made all this in a tiffin, in a tiffin box, like cakes, cranberry, walnut biscuit, and bliss balls. That's number one. And then we have City, City who had made jam and check it out, homemade pasta. And I think they're chocolate covered. How creative is Huang Ko? And then we have Kim Cho and Jane Chua giving loads of ideas, even though there's no pictures, but ideas nonetheless. And I want to shout out to Karen. Karen Ko gave a lot of ideas when I asked inside the discussion. Bagels, panettone, mini fruit cake, cranberry cookies, jams, and so, 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 so many more. Biscottis from Thor Mix a lot. I just love the name. And Alice also suggesting how to uh, make almond blanche uh, with her muffins. So when you go into the Facebook groups, you can ask for ideas, ask for advice, check out other people's ideas, post up your recipes as well to inspire others. All right. So we are in our first lucky draw and I hope all of you are available. These are everybody who have registered by 8th of December. Okay. By 8th of December, by 6 p.m., I've picked your names to go into the wheel of names. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to ask you to go off mute when your name is being called out. We're going to do this only three times before we open up to a quiz. So I'm going to roll number one. So let's do it now. Michelle, Michelle Hu. Advisor Jenny Ang. Do we have Michelle in the call? I'm just going to go Michelle 1. Michelle 2. Laju ah, visa today ah. Michelle 3. Ala, too bad. Don't have Michelle. Let's do round number 2. Do we have Kerujin Abdul Wahab? Do -do. If I were to search in participant, I cannot find Kerujin. Hmm. Kerujin 1. Phone number ending with 9990. Kerujin 2. Tak ada juga ke? Kerujin 3. <laughs> Ayo. Sad, sad. Fatin, if you are here, you can tell Kerujin alamat termis lah. All right, last round, guys. Let's go.
Amelda. Amelda Saron. Do you, are you here, Amelda? You can go off mute. Amelda one. Amelda two. No. Tada juga. Amelda three. Alright. <laughs> Sayang sangat. Okay. Um, Nor Azia, if you are here, do let her know. Alamak termis. Alright. So, uh, Michelle Kerudin and Amelda missed it. But it means that customers who are who are in this call right now, just customers, yeah, advisors, no? Um, you are able to win the lucky draw prize. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you one quiz question and it's super, super simple. It's super, super simple. And um, the first one to answer correctly, precisely, and the fastest, you are going to be the one that's going to win. So unmute yourself when I do call out the winner. All right. So wait until I'm done with the question. Okay. I'm going to ask it really fast because it's really easy. One, two, go. Name the one accessory that is used during high temperature and sugar stages. Flashcard. <laughs> okay. Sorry, type in the chat. Type in the chat. <laughs> oh, wow. If I check here, it's flashcard. Memang betul. Tepat. Tepat dan bijak sekali. Thank you very much. Okay. And I think the winner, if I'm checking here, it's Wen Li. Kat, do you Hi, have the name? Me. Yes, Wen Li. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> familiar name. Wen Li, do you want to turn your video on? Uh, not so suitable, not so convenient. <laughs> oh, no, but no biggie. You have been our um, audience before. Yeah, I joined most of the classes. It's quite interesting. <laughs> Congratulations. I think you've been lucky before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I think you are lucky winning the same thing again. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a different thing. I think the last time was, uh, uh, was a recipe book. Yep. Ah, perfect. Then you are the winner of uh, a thermal jug. All right. Oh, okay, thank you so You're much. Cool. So, Wenli, I got a question for you. Yeah. Okay, help me answer. You have a thermomix, right? Okay, yeah. if if money and SOP is no object, there's no no worries about money and no worry about yeah. nak hanta, uh, who would you like to gift a thermomix to and why? Oh, to my mom. <laughs> uh, yeah, why? Uh? Yeah, because she says she has been using like a lot of, uh, a lot of electronics together. So I think a thermomix will be suitable for her. So she has been looking at my thermomix and I think she wants one as well. So I think it would be perfect to give her one this Christmas. <laughs> oh, wow. It's already in the plan. Are you going to surprise her? Uh, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> All right. So may I know who's your advisor? Uh, Yi Wen. Yi Wen Tan. You went. Okay, I'll just ping you right after this to get your particulars again, even though I know I do have it, but just to be safe, uh, I'll get your particulars again. Thank you very much, Wen Li. Congratulations, right. everybody in the chat. Let's congratulate Wen Li for winning the lucky draw and hopefully that she will be able to gift a thermomix to her mother. That is so sweet. Okay. Thank you. Well done. All right. So we're going to go now to Catherine. Let's cook along. Kate Vate, I hope you have um, parked the recipe inside your Cookie Do 3.0. And we saw the video of how we can do this. So, Kat, I'm going to spotlight you right now. And everybody, let's cook along. Hello, everyone. I'm Catherine from Academia. Welcome to our my Thermomix episode 5 and this is also our last show of the year and perhaps it could be our My Thermomix last show as well <laughs> because we don't have a plan to continue in 2022 yet but uh, unless you all um, demand for it then maybe we can make a plan. Alright so today we are going to cook along for this cake batik. So can anyone of you tell me in the chat room, have you tried this recipe before? Whether it's with your Thermomix or with your conventional way, have you tried this before? Just let me know yes or no. All right, I see yes, some yes, some no. 
Okay, so do you like to try these recipes after today's show? If yes, you put a big, big yes in the chat room. Okay, so how many of you are going to cook along with me? You can switch on your video so that uh, we can uh, see each other and uh, we can play around with our thermomix together. Okay, so I will start cooking first. Let the thermomix work. Then we will chit chat in a bit. Okay, so for, first of all, if you uh, do not have a recipe with you, you can actually just refer to the I think um, Fiza already sent you the recipe via email. Okay, or if you have key in the recipe in your cookie dough 3.0, you can uh, just like me, go to the main menu. I go to my recipe. Okay, perhaps we can uh, just uh, spotlight my another video. Is my another video? Okay. The other video, Tada. Tada. Okay, let me check. Okay. Thank you. Just uh, while Kat is doing that, uh, for everybody's information, I've put the file uh, just in case right inside um, our chat. All right. Yes, so you can see it. No, it got missing again. Let me sing. Okay, let me check. I see Haziana is up. I see Faiza. I see Catherine TM6 screen. <laughs> <laughs> is it on? Yes, it is. It is on. Okay, maybe I have to adjust a bit. All right, it's good. good. Okay, so I can go to my recipes and I just click on created recipes. Okay, so I have um, uploaded um, some recipes in my cookie dough 3.0. So one of it is this cake batik, okay? So I just press on it and it will come out. Okay, just wait for a while. Yeah, so this is my Milo batik cookies and we have my, actually have my photos on that. And scroll down, you can see just like other cookie dough uh, recipes, you can see the ingredients. So the ingredients are very easy. We have butter, unsalted butter, okay? And we have uh, Milo powder. We have the condensed milk, okay? And of course, the last but not least is the Mary's biscuit, okay? So this is uh, 250 grams. And if you receive the recipes from Pizza, I do um, share half portions because sometimes like for myself, I do not need so much portions to finish, right? So I can actually cut the portions half, but the process, the steps are the same. Okay, so let's start cooking now. All right. Okay, so usually it will come out like enjoy cooking your own recipes and there is some disclaimer, okay, because this is our own um, created recipes, it's not tested by a Vorwag or Thermomix RD. Okay, so there should have a disclaimer just to make sure everyone is clear. Okay, so first step is to line a square baking tray or a, um, any baking tray that you think is, is suitable. Okay, with a baking paper or parchment paper. So I have lined it and to save my space, I actually put the biscuit on it as well so that I don't need another container. Okay, then next one is to, okay. Second step is to melt the butter. All right, so to, to melt the butter, um, you can look at the screen over here. Okay, place unsalted butter into mixing bowl. So when I press on the unsalted butter, if you can see from the screen, okay, Oops. it's not so sensitive from this. Ta -da. Okay, press harder. 
And when I click on the unsorted butter, it will actually lead me to a scale. All right. So, and it is also um, tell me that I need to put in 250 grams unsorted butter. So if you want to do half portions, then it's 125. Okay. So I have uh, cut my butter. Make sure it's in room temperature. Do not put in whole um, chunk, but at least cut it into uh, small pieces, all right, so that uh, it's easier to melt and it's, it won't require too much strength for the missing knife to turn around, okay? Okay, so this is 248. Wow, just nice, okay? Because usually one piece is about 250. All right, then after that, I just close the window. Right, and it will come to melt two minutes and 60 degrees speed two. So I, of course, I need to close my cover lid. When I click on this green line, okay, it will directly lead me to this setting, okay? Okay, I think my line is a bit not stable. Right, we can now, hear you fine. Okay, good. So you have uh, three minutes, 60 degrees, speed two is already set there. So I just turn, okay? Then it will start. All right, so let's wait for this uh, three minutes to be done. Okay, so now, let me talk about this uh, cookie do 3.0. It is so, so much uh, convenient. You know, the first time I do my cake batte, the Milo batte cookie was um, many years ago. I think more than 15 or 16 years ago. Um, perhaps even more than that. Maybe about 20 years ago when I was still in uh, Malaysia before I went to Singapore to work. And one of my nieces from KL told me that, ah, I tell you, I have a recipe which is this cake batte that is very delicious. So let's try because the ingredients are very easy, just four. So we went to buy the ingredients and at that time, I don't have thermomix. So we used the conventional way to do. Wow, that was my first time doing, though the taste was very good, but I tell myself, I'm not going to do again because when I do it, I have to stand in front of the stove and I have to stir the butter, melt the butter. When I add in the Milo powder and the condensed milk, it is so thickened that I need to use a lot of strength to make sure that it's not stick to the pans. Okay, so I have to stir. And then after I add in the, bus the, the biscuit, it is so difficult for me to mix it well, evenly. So that experience was like, it's fun, but then uh, it's really using a lot of my strength and sweat and a lot of time. So when I got my Thermomix, my first um, idea is, hey, can I actually convert this uh, cake party recipes with my Thermomix, all right? Because I really miss the taste. I really miss this cake party very, very much. Just that I am very, I was so lazy to do it because it's really need to take a lot of strength and then have to make myself sweaty to do that. So I tried to convert it to Thermomix and surprisingly, it was so easy, the process, and it tastes so good and no mess at all. So now with Cookie Do 3.0, I am even happy because I can put it down into the Cookie Do and I keep it forever as long as I have the account. And um, your, though now we can't share, but maybe in future we can share uh, with my families or my close friends and I can keep these recipes forever for next generation. So this is really, really amazing. Okay, so three minutes melting. Okay, those who are cooked along, you can check. I'm sure your 
butter is now very well melted. Okay. And it's so, so easy. And the temperature control is so precise. Okay, so next, we close the window. Okay, and then we go to the next step. Okay, so next step, let me show my screen, is to add Milo powder. So when I click on the Milo powder, Maybe I just click it today. All right. Okay, it shows that I have to weigh in 200 grams of Milo powder. Right? And the steel is immediately come out auto. So it's very, very, very convenient. Okay, so just make sure that you pour um, around the missing line, okay? So that is a tip in the um, recipe. So if you want to have a more um, intense flavor of chocolate, uh, you can also add in a little bit of the, the coffee powder as well. Okay, okay, I put a little bit more of the Milo powder and then I can press the tear. Okay. This direction, I really can't see. So nice. Okay, maybe I have to turn. Around. I think today the screen is really not so sensitive. It's fine. Okay, it's done. Then I add in the condensed milk. Okay, so the condensed milk in the recipe is about uh, the full portion is uh, um, 100 to 110. Okay, uh, depending on your own uh, preference, you can actually reduce a little bit. All right, so today I actually weigh in the 100 grams. Okay, if half portion, then reduce to half. And you know, I have a tip. Usually, I, need, I like to just put the condensed milk in a mug. A cup okay because sometimes when you pour in right you will still have some um balance remain in the in the cup right so later you can use this cup to maybe make some drinks other drinks that you may con you may require the condensed milk so that you don't waste it all right okay so after that close the lid okay i hope you can follow and then Next step, we have to close this. Okay, so I just press on the blade icon or the um, the setting that the green line. Okay, then it will lead me to the next step. Uh -huh. I don't know why today. Okay, so two minutes, 60 degrees Celsius and speed two again. Okay, so I just let it go. Okay, so it's very clear. Now, do you have any questions? Okay, I think it's quite fine. Okay, let me show this. All right, so this is the second step. And while we are doing this, um, let it melt, right, and then mix, right? You can actually prepare your biscuit, okay? So you can slightly crush your biscuit, the merry biscuit into half or maybe three um, pieces, okay? Then uh, make it smaller pieces, okay? Instead of the whole piece like this, okay? So crack it into half. Right. If you have a glove, and I will actually advise you to use a glove. Okay. So not only hygiene, but it's also uh, it will help you to make your whole uh, tabletops as uh, very clean. Okay. 
So this is how we crack it and just put in the tray. So you don't require a, um, another container because you, you are not advised to take out your biscuit out from the pack too early. Because if you wait for too long, maybe the, the crunchiness will be affected, right? So usually I will always cover it first. So when I melt the butter or when I mix the ingredients, then I will just start preparing my um, biscuits, take it out from the packet so that um, it can re uh, remain the crunchiness, okay? So two minutes, very, very fast, did it right at the timing, okay, stop it. Okay, so at this point of time, wow. You check yours if you are cooking along, okay? If you are not cooking along, I can let you see this, okay? You can nice. see the, the very nice and it melted so, so evenly and so well. We, you can imagine if I am using the conventional way, I tell you now I have, I have to like very, very sweaty and uh, I can't chit chat with you as well. Okay, and I have to make sure that the, the temperature from the stove is not too hot. Okay, because if it's too hot, it will stick to the pan and it will also affect um, the textures and uh, um, the other ingredients. But with Thermomix, because of the 60 degrees Celsius that I can control so precisely, I don't need to uh, worry that the butter and the condensed milk are overheated. Okay, because just nice. All right, now the next step, I will advise you to remove your measuring cup. Remove your measuring cup first. Okay, then I close this. Window. Cat? Yes? Just to let you know that my caramel is going to be ready in one minute. Okay. So do you want to show your caramel first? Yeah. Before I... Yeah. Oh yeah? Is that okay? Yeah. All right. That's good. Guys, like another minute. But I hope everybody is uh, cracking your biscuit. Right? Yeah, you can crack in your biscuit first. Now. <laughs> I see I am together cooking along with you. It's quite a few. Huh? Got Faiza, Asna, Haziana. Fat, Fat's also Hi, there. Faiza, Anybody else? You guys should put on your video. Good. <laughs> we'll feature you later on, okay? All right. So I pinjam cat balik and I do have a, a cameraman that you will see on site. <laughs> All right. So the caramel is going to be ready in about 30 seconds. And um, later on, I want to show you, or my husband want to show you. Like, or you can only see his bicep. Put away your bicep. Okay. All right. Uh, and we're going to see how it gurgles up. All right. And then we have to act quick. And we have to do the next step. Lah. Uh, this is going to be really, really exciting. So we are almost done in three, two, one. So short the counting. All right, you can hear that. Okay, so we just click next to see what's going on. Okay, so what you're going to see inside the, the TM6 is, there you go. That is caramel gurgling up. That is just sugar and a little bit of cream and a little bit of water. Okay, so if you have to do this on your stove, it's going to be super hot. You don't want to touch it because it's very. It's going to scald you. You don't want it to boil over onto your 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 face or your 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 prio and things like that. So Thermomix is superbly safe. Thank you, Sam. All right. So the next step it tells me to do is put uh, 130 to 180 grams of whipping cream. So I I have I want it this one to be a little bit creamier. So this is 180. Okay, and then click next without measuring cup. It tells me to mix it. Okay, so I'm just going to mix it. And right after this, it's going to ask me to mix it again um, for another three minutes. And 
you're going to come back to me after five minutes lah, after everything is done. For cookie dough, you just follow the recipes. It is super easy. And I have my whole family here suddenly. <laughs> and Kat, hi, yeah. over, over back to you. Say hi. Everybody, this is Mini Pija. Hi. Hello, Maya. Okay, so let's come back to this. Okay, so the next step now is to, without the measuring cup, so I will invite you to take out, remove your measuring cup from your lid, all right? And then um, you have to set again, which is uh, to make sure that uh, the missing knife start rotating. Then you will add your biscuit through the whole lid, okay? Through the, the whole of the lid. Now, you have two minutes of time. So what I will advise you is, uh, don't be scared. So, but you have to gradually put it in. Hopefully that you can finish putting in all the biscuits in one minute and you let the, all the biscuits remain in the missing bowl for another one minute to stir. So if your speed of fitting, putting in the biscuit is a bit slow, you can actually manually adjust the um, missing time, okay, the timing, uh, maybe 30 seconds uh, longer. Okay, so let's start now, which is we do not require any temperature because actually in the missing bowl, it still have about 45 degrees Celsius remaining. Okay, and now we need to have a reverse. With the cookie dough 3.0, it is already set. Okay, remember if you are doing manually, make sure you activate the reverse mode and then you turn to the speed. Okay, and you start putting in here. Yeah, so this is actually very very nice you can do it especially the school holiday coming in uh is around the corner or actually started okay you can just do this with your kids if you have kids at home and i am sure they will like it very much Pizza, i think you can also ask um, um maya to do these actions right i think the I think she will eat the cookie lah. I don't think it will go inside the TM6. <laughs> Instead of putting into the missing bowl, it's putting into the mouth, is it? Yeah, into the mouth. <laughs> well, it's like a race. Yes. You still have about one minute more. Oh, Fats is still breaking the cookies. Fats? Ah. <laughs> uh, oh, honey has her kid with her also. Hi, honey. Hi, Asna. Wow. I'm just going to... In the meantime, I'm just going to spotlight everybody who's cooking to see who wins. Che. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I the, know. The Thermomix will win. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for cooking with us. So this is part of the community. La, and I hope it's fun. Ola, wouldn't it be nice if we can cook? physically together right yeah Done. and you see this action is like so convenient and so easy just to add the biscuit in and i don't need to stir at all i am sitting here with my thermal mix and i'm doing zoom chit chat with you while i'm doing this with the biscuit but conventionally it is not possible to do that I will say that, don't talk to me, don't talk to me, I need to focus storing the things, okay? Alright, so this is the... It's done. It's done. Okay. Let's see what happened inside. Wow, it's so okay. nice. And of it's... course, with... Um, because this is full portion, okay? So, you may need to uh, a bit use your spatula or maybe a... a spoon okay just slightly stir a bit on top yeah. okay make but, sure that every biscuit is uh, coated nicely okay go. but i can actually show you for those who are not cooked along in fact it is quite nicely coated okay you can see this there you go yep okay it's almost every piece is coated okay but of course later on when you pour it out it will actually very nicely coated evenly, okay? So this is really a very, very convenient process. Now, the next one 
Okay, if you look at the recipe, okay, I close this window, is to tell you that uh, you need to, oh, so enjoy your dish. <laughs> Come back. All right, too fast. To pour into the uh, prepared tin, okay, the baking tin, and then uh, you can wear a plastic gloves or use the back of a spoon to make sure the batter uh, is pressing down. All right, so let's pour it out. Yeah. Wow, the smell is like the chocolate, the Milo, the milk, the butter, and the biscuit. Milo is heaven, right? Yeah, it's like so I couldn't I couldn't describe the feeling but it's telling me that holiday is coming. <laughs> Kat, I still I still the time sekejap because my caramel okay. is done. Um, sure. so everybody pour pour out like what Kat is doing right now. So if you um, want to see what happened to my caramel. So we are done and if you notice I have a jug of water because right now it tells me to transfer the the mixture into a warm glass okay let me adjust myself so when you want to take out your mixing bowl always lift it upwards all right and when you want to put it back also from the top so that it doesn't hit the locking arm as well as the cover plate and then it will not crack lah. okay so my caramel is done if i want to pour it out hold the bottom of the handle and then you can pour it out so i have three jars over here just for fun okay Check it out. Oh, I love caramel. So this is hot. So it's still very, very liquidish. But later on, it's going to become uh, a little bit thicker. All right. I have a bigger jar just because I have a bigger jar. Um, but if you would put the whole portion inside, it would be filling up half of this very big jar. All right. Okay. So you don't want to waste anything um just scrape whatever sorry just scrape whatever liquid left all right there you go all right i want to show you what happens inside there could be hardened caramels on the side so immediately after you pour it's going to tell you to clean the rim of these jars and immediately close them down. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. So this is one example, just make sure that these are ready to go. And then the other thing is that we're gonna immediately start pre-cleaning. So it tells me to put one tablespoon of vinegar to help with the cleaning. And the next one is to put 1000 grams of water. So water is one liter, is equivalent to 1000 grams. Okay, and this guided recipe, especially sugar stages or high temp, they are also fitted with the pre-cleaning mode inside of them. Okay, so you know with pre-clean mode, you have to put on the lid with the measuring cup on. There you go. That's all you do. And then, it see, it calls up the pre-clean mode. Just turn it and your pre-clean mode has started. So as simple as that to make your caramel. As you can see, this is an example that I made today using light sugar. And this is something that I made yesterday. Ta-da! And this is using brown sugar. Okay? Brown sugar and white sugar. Nampak macam tak banyak beza. But I think when this hardens a little bit, you're going to see that it's lighter than the other one. All right. So that's all with the caramel sauce. We'll go back to Catherine. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Fiza. Okay, I hope those who are cooked along, you have uh, scrapped out all your ingredients from the bowl. And in fact, you can see it is not difficult to scrap out, okay? I have tried to use the spoon and also the spatula to scrap out. You see, it's pretty clean, all okay? right? And you know, sometimes I do not want to waste my ingredients. So uh, most of the time, I will purposely remain some chocolate, some my Milo inside. Then I will add in hot water. 
a little bit of hot water. Then I will manually spin it using speed eight. All right. So that after that, I uh, and also I will also um, add after spin it right. Then I can actually. If you're using hot water, then it's fine. If you're using warm water, you can also heat it up uh, uh, maybe um, up to 60 degrees Celsius. Then you can have a very, very nice small cup of hot chocolate. So you don't waste anything. But of course, if you do not want to have the hot chocolate, maybe because you may not like the butter uh, taste in the water base, then you can actually just uh, scrub it out and use the pre-clean mode as what um, Fiza tell you, okay? Later on, I will also use my pre-clean mode, okay? So you see now my bowl is actually pretty clean but still have something inside. But after I use the pre-clean, you can see that I don't really need some any strength or much time to clean my missing bowl, okay? Actually, I just rinse it and then wash one more time, then it's done. Okay, so now look at my batter now, the, the, all the cookies. Okay, so I prefer, preferably using the glove because I like to use the glove so that I can actually just press it. Okay, and it is so easy just to press it, make sure that uh, it is uh, fill in the tin, your baking tray, or the tint very nicely. And if you want your cookies to be a bit thicker so that uh, you can see the butter texture um, prettier, okay, more obvious, you can actually make it a higher, higher height, okay? Otherwise, like this, I think it's about um, 3 cm. It's quite nice, just nice, okay? So I just, do this okay or you, you can use the spoon the back of the spoon just to press it make sure it's compact and then after that you just put in the fridge for um, 30 minutes it's good to one hour but usually i will leave it until um, maybe three hours okay that and that's my own habit all right so just do this. Yeah, it's done. Okay, then I just uh, keep it in the fridge. Now I have another tips for you. Okay, let's say that um, usually if you do this, the base is actually very nice, very compact and uh, very nice. So the upper part perhaps is like not so even because of the biscuit and then um, they may have some hole or whatever, right? What you can do is you use another piece of baking paper and then you pick it out, the balik kan. Okay, you this one and then you balik kan. Then you press again and put it back. Then both sides will be very, very nicely. It's very flat. So when you cut it out, the texture will be very nice. Even the edge is also very nice. Okay, so this is uh, some tips to share with you. Now, I think Fiza sure still have some contents to uh, continue, right, Fiza? Yep, yep, yep. Yay, but I see a lot of the cooker, cook, cooker, bula, all the other chef, all the cooks are busy mom patting their their yeah their Is milo party uh, yeah al alang, uh, i will ask you lah so haziana is asking for pre-clean mode which mode do we use to clean the chocolate lah? oh okay now i can actually while doing this i can just uh, do the pre-clean directly okay i have prepared water you use the third mode, which is the caramel one, I think. All right, add in water. Uh, is it because it's sticky? Because uh, I, I, I use universal. Yeah, you can use universe, universal, but um, like the past few times I actually used the, uh, because there is a uh, butter. 
So it's mm. it could be a bit oily. All right. So usually I will use the pre-clean mode and then okay, so I will choose the fat. Sorry. Okay. Fat or caramel. Okay. So after that, you can see the um, results. It's really, really amazing. Like last night, actually I pre-do these party cookies and I use this pre clean mode. Then I just actually rinse one more time and then I just wash with the sponge. That's all. I don't even need to remove the blade to wash, you know. Yeah, mm. because it's really, really very clean. Okay. So right. you can see now. Uh, without soap, G then asks. Uh, yes, actually, you, I just put uh, uh, two dishes of the, the dishwasher. Okay. So the... Uh, two okay. dip, two, two, um, maybe just um, two drips enough already because actually I just now I already um, mix everything in one bottle <laughs> so that I don't need okay. to walk around yeah all okay. right okay thanks Gat so uh, awesome. those who are cooking along make sure that you are uh, stay, staying on until almost the end so that we can see all your batik cookies that that maybe tak siap lagi lah because it needs like three hours to harden right but i think some of you cooked ahead uh, so again just a quick reminder that we have thermomix community so i want to uh, give a shout out to the groups in cooking at your fingertips like hanem giving a biscuit tea. no 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 biscuit a biscotti idea is a nugget it's a nougat ah however you want to pronounce it lah it's a very nifty gift idea it looks very very posh uh fatin again with her personalized gingerbread carrot cakes by hakimi and check out the cake sickles by queenie wow those are so gorgeous. I don't think I'll eat them lah. <laughs> okay. And Hayati over here, she has a blueberry muffin. So these are gift ideas that you can do with your Thermomix. Liana made cupcake. Shazura made pecan pie cheesecake bar. Junaina made banana cakes. And Rashida made brownies. So a lot of gift ideas that you can also ask inside the Facebook group. So make sure you join. And because I just cook with caramel, I promise you that it is one sauce with a lot, a lot of usage. So all of these things that you see on the screen are caramel infused, either in terms of sauce, base, um, a little bit of flavoring inside, the drizzles, and so on and so forth. So these are your caramel creations. So one of them is the caramel sauce. So one thing I want to teach all of you today is a little bit about exploring cookie dough. It is not just merely recipes, but there are a lot more, a lot, lot more. So I'm going to go over to my cookie dough and in the search function, I'm going to look for caramel and I'm going to search. Of course, the, this is the typical thing that you would do. But if I were to uh, zoom this a little bit more and on the search bar over here if you click on the little arrow button beside the search bar you will see that you can scroll over to collections as well as articles so if i were to click collections then i can see all sorts of different collections for caramel or has a caramel related recipe inside and earlier, I told you if I were to search on gift, then check it out. A lot of gifting ideas. Okay, so even though you see recipes that are not in English, okay, so this is an example. is in German, vegan recipe. 
don't be scared you can right click if you are on google chrome uh, or even on your mobile and you can just click translate to english and it will automatically translate it is only available on the web it doesn't get translated in your tm6 but what i want to urge you is do not be do not shy away from recipes that are not in our native uh, language because there could be a gem hidden there Okay, another thing I want to recommend is um, I know we have recipes in China, right? Um, let's say uh, crabs. Okay, but I do not speak Chinese. I do not know how to write in um, Mandarin characters. So I go to Google Translate and I translate crab, all right? And I copy the characters, okay? I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it just in case i pronounce it wrong and i'm going to paste it in cookie do and i'm going to click the search button these are collections so there's no crabs but if i were to go to recipes check it out i get a lot of crab recipes in um chinese language simplified okay so what i can do is i click one recipe and i can just translate it to english spicy crab there you go and I can just follow this inside the web or I can use the um, translator scanner app on my mobile if I were to save this on Cookidoo. So this is a tip and trick for you to see Cookidoo as something simply more than just English, Bahasa or Chinese. And I hope this helps. Another thing, I was talking about sugar stages. If you want to know more about sugar stage, type in sugar stage, but instead of using recipes or collections, you can just move over to articles. Okay? And then you can find a lot of articles from all over the country, all over the world about um, sugar staging. So I'm going to hit on caramel. Okay? And then you can read up about caramel. Okay? And um, check out about the caramel sauce and go, you know, just read it up. Even have videos, cer certain articles have videos. And this is what I like to show you today, okay? If I browse through the article and I click this heavenly caramel recipe because I love caramel so much and it opens up a filtered, a filtered um search function for all other caramel recipes that I wouldn't have thought to um, to browse myself. Okay, so this is another example of how to use Cookidoo and I hope you have learned something in terms of exploring Cookidoo's via the search bar, recipes, collection and article. If you think what I have shared today is helpful, please type in Cookidoo so I know that you will try it as well. So I hope I see a lot of cookie do inside the chat. Thank you so much. And I also want to know later on, lah, do you wish you had gotten your thermal mix sooner? But now we're going to go to our second lucky draw for our audience, for our customers. All right. So you're going to win one daily Asian cookbook. So I'm going to start the spinning mm -hmm. right now. Oh, sorry. There you go. Do we have Safia? Do we have Safia? Alama, Safia 1, Safia 2, <laughs> Safia 3. Sorry, Safia. Eh, yeah, before that, let me make sure you can unmute yourself. I'll do it again. Safia 1, Safia 2. Mm, Safia 3, tak ada lah. No worries. Okay, let's go to the next one. I'm sure those of you are here, Macam. I hope they are not here. I hope the lucky ones are not here. Dina, Dina Ting Siu E. What a lovely name. Is Dina here? Alright, Dina 1. Dina 2 and Dina 3. If you are, you have to go off mute. Okay, dear. No, All right. Here. Other. Last one. Hi, 
Haniza. Haniza Ahmad, advisor Dayang Rosila. Haniza Wan. <laughs> Haniza Tu. Eh, dia orang ni kan. <laughs> Haniza Three. Confirm tak ada ah. Confirm you can go off mute ah. Alright. So sorry. Alright. Guess what? All the customers here, you have a chance to win the Daily Asian Cookbook. And why do we feature that? Is because the Milo Budget Cookies are, uh, that particular recipe is inside that Daily Asian Cookbook. So get ready to type into the chat. Type into the chat um, the answer to this question, the fastest and the tepatest, you know, will win. Okay. So when Kat was featuring um, her her Milo Bacik cookies. Which cookie do version is it on? Ta-da! I see it. Oh, laju korang. It's only for customers, yeah. Advisors don't answer yet. You guys get your <laughs> chance later. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me check it out. The answer is 3.0. And if I see here, I see Nikki Fu is the first to answer. Yay! Nikki, congratulations. Can you go off mute and can you turn on your video, please, dear? Nikki, can you go off mute? Hi, Nikki. She is mute. Yeah, I'm, I'm mute already. Gosh, I see her. I don't know. I see her. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the, the video is. Black. The video is black. I think I used my um desktop because my laptop I didn't on the I think don't have the video. Apple, <laughs> no it's okay. Don't worry. Nikki, congratulations. You Thank want you. yourself um um the daily Asian cookbook. That's a Thank very, you. very good basic cookbook that has loads of wonderful recipes. So do you have a thermomix already? Yes, I have two. The TM31 and now is the TM6. Hey, yes. you, you and I, we gang. I also have TM31. So how long have you had your TM31? I think around uh, more than 10 years because previously it's my mom is using. We are bought for her, but no, she's not using. So puzzle to me. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. So what do you enjoy most making with your TM6 now? Uh, currently, I'm used to uh, do the break. Muffin, and now I cook the pineapple jam. Wow, you sound so excited. I can feel it even though I cannot see you. <laughs> I can feel the Chinese New Year is coming. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> correct, it's correct. That's, that's great, Nikki. So you've been using for for 10 years plus uh, TM6. How long have you been using it? Uh, TM6 only recently, four months. Ah, baby or still baby lah. Yes, yes, correct. <laughs> Um, have you ever thought to become an advisor yourself? Uh, not yet. Because no. now I some I still exploring the some recipe and I post in the Facebook. So hopefully, slowly can be done as an advisor. Ah, I wish you the best. So who is your advisor right now? Uh, Lim Yen. Lim Yen. That's great. I, I'm, I'm very glad that Lim Yen forwarded this to you and you are able to join. So after this, Nikki, I'm going to ping you and get your particulars. All right? Yes. And so that we can send the Daily Asian Cookbook to you. So congratulations, yeah, no everybody you. in the spirit of Thermomix community. Let's congratulate uh, Nikki. Hi. Yes, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Yeah. All right. So let's get back to the show. Um, I'm just going to uh, two tops kejap with sugar stages and then we're going to do some reveal. So sugar staging, what is it? So sugar, as sugar is being cooked, you know, the water actually boils away. The sugar concentration increases. That's why uh, it hardens and then because the temperature itself rise. Okay. And then the highest temperature that the sugar reaches will tell you what the syrup will be like when it cools down. So this is an art as well as a science, more of a science that needs to be, you know, you need to be artsy about it as well. So you can make a lot of things out of sugar like caramel, marshmallow, peanut butter, peanut brittle, honeycomb, and all sorts of things. But you kind of need to know which temperature those particular recipes need to go to. As you can see in the picture below on the left, 
um, in a tra traditional way of cooking on the stove, you do need to have a candy thermometer because that's the most accurate way to determine the doneness of the syrup. As you can see, the, the darker it is, then um, the, the kind of candy becomes a little bit different. So this is an example of actual sugar staging. Um, I'm not a connoisseur in this bit, um, but just to let you know, this is why all the chefs, well, especially pastry chef, when they play around with sugar, this is one of the curriculum to really, really understand the differences of sugar, how which temperature it needs to be so that it can become the creation that we tend to love. Okay, but with the thermomix, we do have the sugar stages, but it is a closed mode, like I mentioned earlier. If you want to know, the temperature actually varies between 110 to 170 degrees Celsius. It is being auto set by the TM6. It's not visible to any of us, not even Catherine, the seafoods of all seafoods in Thermomix Malaysia, but it definitely opened up a whole new world in the sweet cooking realm. Okay, um, as you can see, we made the caramel sauce. You can even make um, all sorts of other things I'm going to show you in a bit. But what you need to know is that this mode is directly linked to cookie dough recipes. And you have to follow the ingredients as well as how the ingredients are prepared to make sure that the recipe is a success. Another thing that you would like to explore is your basic cookbook. In your basic cookbook, there is a section um, on sugar staging, all right, about this particular mode. Um, the blue pages inside your basic cookbook mimic similarly the article concept of cookie dough. So do check that out. And some ideas for you to explore for sugar stages are, you so you see you can make, make nian kao. Cat, did I say that right? Yes, nian kao. Nian kao. All right. I love this in kueh bakul, right? Or so sedap. Sour plum candy, lollipops, walnut brittle, or if in Malaysia, we call it uh, biskut kacang rangup, candied strawberries and honeycomb. So just type in sugar stages, all these recipes will come out. All right. So um, like Nikki just now, if you are interested to become an advisor, do ask your advisor about it. And it is super easy. Just ask people to come to see a cooking show by the company or by your um, advisors themselves. Always share on your social so that people are curious and they want to know what Thermomix is all about. And don't worry if you don't really understand just yet how to become an advisor because we do have company trainings. Okay, so a lot of things that you can earn. As an advisor, including incentive, and when borders are open up, maybe we will go somewhere in the world. Yay. And yay, I can't wait. Even if we go to Singapore, I'm happy already. <laughs> okay. And it is quite fun to be in another type of community together. So again, do not worry about the kind of trainings because that is part of the Thermomix Academia world where Catherine and I are from. We have the Thermomix curriculum and complementary training to skill everybody up. And it is an amazing community to be in, available in English, Chinese, or sometimes bilingual. Okay, and if you don't have a Thermomix yet and you want to get one, get in touch with the advisor that have invited you today. If you do not have one, just write an email to inquiry at thermomix.com.my and somebody will help you to place your order. We have an exciting promotion for this particular year. Sorry, for this particular season, you can get even up to eight, eight free gifts. Right, I'm not kidding. So one is the Thermomix. When you purchase, you have an option to um, get um, a free gift when you do a full payment, either a thermo server or a cookbook. And that's one. Number two, you already get a free download of the Christmas cookbook, whether you buy it on uh, full payment or not. So that's two. And then when you have purchased a Thermomix and you do a hosting experience, like a cooking show, you ask your friends to watch a cooking show with your advisor, you will get the premium perfect fit Varoma series, which are six pieces. So two plus six become Eight. So there you go. Up to eight prizes that you can win for yourself before New Year even comes. All right. So we won't do lucky draw number three just yet. Okay. And Kat, I think you want to show people. Yes. So just now, uh, if you remember, I used to pre-clean the fat or caramel, right? So after I pour out the water, this is what you see in the bowl. Is it clean? I haven't okay. rinsed yet. 
but it's really, really very clean. And even on the missing knife, it's very, very clean. So this is so amazing to have a King M6 because conventionally to do the cake bate is not only the whole process is um, taking a lot of time, strength, and uh, even after that, when you want to wash the pot, the pans, is also another challenge because after you have um, prepared and press down all the cookies and put in the fridge, right? When you come back to your pans or the pot, it's already thicken. All the remaining ingredients is very sticky to the pans already. So when you want to remove it and want to wash it, it's really, really very difficult. Okay, so but with Thermomix, even I can chit chat with you, I just put add in water, let it wash, and then I can do other things. I can concurrently doing all this process. So while I put it into the fridge, my missing bowl is already washed. All right, so I just cleaned up all the tables. That's all. This is how Thermomix making our life easier. Okay, so this is just only one example for this cake party. All right, so I hope uh, you can uh, get some inspiration from this process. And perhaps I can show you before I do some plating. I have pre-prepared pre the cake bate last night, uh, but I did it half portions. Okay, so if you can see, I only cut half. The other half I didn't cut because I want to show you after you have done, right? You can see the texture, all the patterns. Okay, when you cut it out, you can see the patterns uh, in inside the cookies. That is why we call it bate because uh, it's like an art, a piece of art. Okay, so if I cut it out, um, half portions, I can uh, easily cut it like this piece, this uh, size, about 40 pieces, half portion. So if you do a full portion, easily you can cut it into 80 to 100 pieces. And it's really a very simple and meaningful gift that you can give away to your colleagues, to your friends, to your families. All right. And then even I can now taste it. <laughs> mm, go to heaven already. <laughs> so who's going to go to heaven with, with Kat? I think Fats. I can see Fats already in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so maybe I do some plating now, then All right. uh, we can continue. All right, let me take over. So thank you, Kat, for uh, showing the pre-clean. As you can see, I'm too high, too tall for my camera. So normally when I do these kind of shows, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a squat, squat hole. Okay, so I've already done pre-clean as well for my uh, caramel creation just now. So I'm just going to show you the water, all right? Because all the sugar... Uh, being melted in the cleaning process. All right, there you go. So uh, if you use water that is suitable for drinking, this will become caramel water, lah, sugar water. You can actually drink it. I do not suggest it. Lah. <laughs> okay, but just like that, my bowl is already clean. Okay, so all I got to do is just take my sponge and wipe it off a little bit here and there. And even though I make caramels, right, a caramel sauce, or even honeycomb, or even anything else, then I can uh, rely on the Thermomix to help me to pre-clean, okay, um, versus the way that we do it um, on the stove, you probably have to put in water and boil it up again, and then you have to scrub your pot, so that's another time that you are not saving, lah. okay. So what you also see here that I've prepared are all the caramel in a bottle, all right, in a jar. So all of these are ready to go to my neighbors. So congratulations, neighbors, you get caramel. And this is the chai tea powder that I told you about that I made. So this is definitely recommended. You get a whole jar. You get a whole jar of the chai tea powder that you can give to your friends, to your family, just put in the brewing instruction and 
they can enjoy something that you made with love. And you can also say that I made it with my thermal mix. Hmm. And there's a lot of ideas from my uh, advisors and the, um, and, and the community. So why don't you check out a thermal mix yourself as well? Something like that. Lah. Okay. So I hope you get some ideas. And Kat, while Kat is going to show her cake batik, I've made my cake batik as well. I made it a little bit more flat. And the different thing that I did from Kat's cake batik, hers are very nice biscuit layers that you see. So in my layer, it's not as visible because I think I broke my Mary biscuit a little bit too small. Mm. But I'm in heaven also. I hope you mm -hmm. have your, your um, cake batik ready. And even if not, later on, we can showcase the cake batik. Um, I do have a tip on how to make sure your cake batik, um, kalau you don't want to be that sweet, what you can do is you can um, put half and half Milo and susu tepung, uh, powdered susu. I've tried that before. It's a little bit less sweeter if that is something that you would like to try. Okay. All right. So let's go to the end. Or Kat, do you have your plating ready? Yes. Because I'm going to keep the advisors waiting. <laughs> oh, lovely. Look at that. Okay. So this is how I will serve my cake party. Okay. With my, I don't have my families with me today, but they are coming next week. So I will just keep it in the container, food container and waiting for them to come and try. And my colleagues in office, the full portions reserved for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the office next week and you can taste. All right. Thank you, Kat. Ooh, uh, Kat Jam has, uh, has a tip here. Top with chocolate ganache and hazelnut. It will bring your cake body to the next level. You can tell. Yes. Also. Any other tips? Any other ideas? Put it in. Put it in. All right. So, guess what? Lucky wow. number three. <laughs> Ayo, cat, did we put our name in? in? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not advisor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is lucky draw number three, whereby we open it up to the advisors. Okay, so if the advisors are not here, then it will be open up to everybody who is inside this call. So this is. The wheel for advisors is a different color. Jom, jom, jom. Wow. And it's so, a, lot, a lot of advisors sign up. I hope they are here. Let's spin it. Oh, and then the winner gets to bring home a book stand, a bamboo book stand. So, do we have Siti Aisha? Um, you can unmute yourself, okay? So, Siti Aisha from Team Shahira Isha, Smart Cooking KLM. Oh, you gave the full name, Samo. Very good. Are you here? Siti Aisha 1. Siti Aisha 2. <laughs> Siti Aisha 3. I am sorry, Siti Aisha. All right, let's go. Let's go number 2. I don't know why. <laughs> Do we have Roslina? Roslina Ahmad Nawawi also from KLM. I see Rose Azizan. I see Rose Nita. I do not see Roslina. Mm -mm. Roslina 1. Roslina 2. Roslina 3. Alamak. Alamak. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Valerie Chong. There's a song, Valerie. But I don't see Valerie Chong from Empower in this call. Yeah. Valerie 1, Valerie 2. Sayang Valerie. Yeah. Sayangnya. Okay, I don't know. Lah. Do, um, before I go to quiz, should I do one more or just like quiz? One more? 
One more lah. One more lah. Okay. Ha. Do we have? Besui hui. I don't see. Yeah. <laughs> I think you have to go to your quiz. I have to go to my quiz. Alama, Besui hui one. Sui hui two. Sui hui. Ha. Who's that? Tak ada. Tak ada. So let's remove. All right. Because this is going to be quiz, especially for advisors, but this is also open to everybody who is inside this particular call. Pisa is not going to make this easy. <laughs> All right. So the first to answer in the chat, and it has to be correct, even to the, you know, cannot, cannot have typo, huh? cannot have typo. And it's going to be a long answer. Okay. All right. So I want this... Tepat eh, tepat and cepat. Alright, macam polis. Cepat, amanah, cekap or something like that lah. Okay, one, two, go. Name the two cooking community Facebook groups that we have featured. <laughs> Name two. That's long, man. Two. Everything has to be one. One. Com Facebook community. Facebook community. <laughs> two. I want two. Nobody gave me two yet. Wait, wait, wait. I think I think already. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the answer. Kat, what is the answer? Truly a thermomix truly Asian. <laughs> Alright, wonderful. So I see somebody gave one. But okay. I see the first person who gave two is actually Rush. R U S. Rush. Oh, it's up to you. Rush. Rush, can you go off mute, Rush? Yay, that's me. <laughs> Yay. Can you turn on your video? Okay, okay, good job. Okay. Congratulations, hi. Rush. Eh, hi. Oh, dalam telekong gitu. <laughs> Hi, Hi, congratulations, Rose. Thank you. Rose, tell me, are you an advisor? Or no, a user? no, I'm not. Uh -uh, but I am a Thermomix owner. Well done. Congratulations. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. So how long have you been a Thermomix owner? Uh, just six months, I think. Oh, baru, okay lah. Almost Marujer. a toddler. Almost a toddler <laughs> lah. Okay. Um, Today you win this book stand, meaning the next step is you will become a Thermomix advisor. Because oh. this gift is given to advisor, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, I can use my basic cookbook first. <laughs> can. <laughs> you can. Um, so, tell me, Rose, um, who is your advisor? Uh, Sherina. Sherina from yeah. Catalyst. Ah, yes. wonderful. I'm sure you've made some of her recipes, like the chocolate yes. bun. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Love them. What's your, um, before ada Thermomix, what's, uh, and versus when you have a Thermomix, what is the biggest change that you've seen in your family? Uh, definitely home cook lah, because I've never cooked um, like proper cooking, so proper meals. So after the TM6, uh, everything I cooked tasted better. <laughs> and my husband put not happy, so alhamdulillah, it's a, it's a good thing lah. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So, I asked this to Wenli earlier. Like, if money is no object and SOP, you will travel the world, tak kisah. So, who would you get a Thermomix for and why? My mom. Oh. Sama macam ini. Yeah. Because um, she just recently, she, she's been the one yang macam, eh, so expensive lah, this machine one. And then she tried it out last week and she made like a balsamic um, salmon thing and she aced it. So she was so happy and proud. So I said, okay, I'll save up money and we'll try to get you one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Eliza, you can win a Thermomix. Huh? 
Yes. Try, try. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that would be a very, very good idea, Ruth. And um, talk to your advisor about the possibilities and it can be done in just like three minutes to sign you up as an advisor. No problem at all. I see Fats, Anggo, Anggo. Fats, you are very good. Lah, Fats, <laughs> this tadi. gift to your mom is uh, even more meaningful because while you are giving a gift to your mom, in, in fact, you are also helping another six families to own the Thermomix. So this oh, is really yeah. a very meaningful gift. Consider it. Okay? Wonderful. Everybody, let's all say congratulations to uh, Rus for Ruth. winning the bamboo book stand. And let's all pray that her mother will get a thermomix really soon. <laughs> and Rus will join the family. <laughs> all right. So Rus, I'm going to ping you as well to get your particulars. Okay. okay. So please stay on until the end of the show. Okay, so um, thank, congrats again for the Bamboo Book Stand. Yay! Very, very happy. So everybody, let's build a community together. Not just advisors, not just um, users, but actually a community outside of the Thermomix group itself via gifting things that you've made. You'll never know the kind of hearts that you're going to touch. You know, even an apple dipped in caramel sauce also can. Okay? So just now we spoke a little bit about um, how to become an advisor. You can very easily, under five minutes, you can be signed up already once you choose whether you want an advanced Thermomix TM6 at a deposit of 2,800 ringgit. And then only until end of this year, you can choose whether you want to have a light kit of 268 ringgit or a premium kit with a trolley that comes in tow uh, for you to kick off your advisor journey. And Catherine and I will be more than happy to welcome you to all of our academia trainings. In fact, we're going to make you come. Ding! But you're going to love us. Lah. You're going to love us. So get in touch with the advisor that invited you today. Before we all leave, can I trouble all of you for a closing poll, especially since this is our last show. Okay, last show for the year and maybe the last show. Sad pula, <laughs> the last show in, in, um, for, forever. So, yeah, how much do you get? So, day pula. Um, I've launched the poll. So, how much do you enjoy the show? Can you give us a star rating of um, any, any star rating? One out of five. And then tell us which part of the show you enjoyed the most. Cooking, user sharing tips, accessory tips. And then, because many of you haven't tried the sugar stages before, please tell us. Which one of the um, four examples that you see here would you like to try next? Okay, caramel sauce, honeycomb, lollipop, or peanut brittle. Uh, on putih, they're very fancy, peanut brittle. But this is actually biscuit kacang rangup that you can buy the kedai runcit too. All right, so this is actually very good. I see a lot of you love the usage and sharing tips. We are very glad to bring you that. 80% um, of you gave us a five-star rating. Thank you. Thank you so much. We are really touched. Uh, from, uh, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. And Sugar Stages recipe, you can choose more than one. Eh? You can choose more than one. But I see the most popular here is peanut brittle and caramel sauce. Oh, maybe because you can just you know, swipe the caramel <laughs> from the jar and makan macam tu saja. So there you go. I've ended the poll. Thank you so much for all the time. We've already revealed, so we're not going to reveal again. Um, do, do a check-in with Thermomix, your Thermomix advisor with the proper uh, on how to care for your Thermomix because Thermomix is really designed to be there for a very long time. You hear Nikki just now, she said that she has a Thermomix for more than 10 years and I have mine more than 12 years already. And you can check out our YouTube for the available resources, how to juggle your mixing knife, mixing bowl, cover plate, as well as a refresher of all the accessories itself. And when you want to get your Thermomix, another second one, or even sign up as an advisor, you go to our Club Thermomix and say yes. Say yes to your TM6. So thank you. Thank you ever so much for joining us.